Okay, welcome to another Superdale snippet. Um, I'm going to go through in this one here and show you how to sys prep a machine. Uh, the purpose of sys prepping a machine is actually to go through and after you've uh, you're actually getting it ready for imaging. Um, the one thing you don't want to do in a network environment is to have uh, a machine and capture the image and push it out, and now you've got 20 machines all using the same computer name, same IP address, same product key. Uh, all that fun stuff. So what we do instead is we sysprep, which goes through and strips out all the stuff that's specific to the machine. So if you've gone through and given it a static IP address, it'll actually switch it over to, to DHCP or to obtain automatically. It's going to get rid of the computer name. Uh, it's basically, sysprep is basically what um, hardware companies like Dell or HP do to the machine before they ship it to you. And then when you turn it on the first time, it goes through and asks you the question such as, Again, your, the computer name, your product key, stuff like that. Now, sysprep is extremely dangerous because once you do it, there's no oops button. Uh, and so when you come into, uh, this applies both for Windows 7 and Server 2008 R2. When you come to the start button, you just type in sysprep. Uh, thank heavens, they've made it so that it won't actually, it doesn't index that file. So you won't see that come up. Even if I do a .exe, you'll notice it doesn't show up. Same thing applies if I open up File Explorer and go in and specify that, hey, I'd like to try to find sysprep. You'll notice it doesn't find it. Uh, the default location for sysprep is on the C drive under Windows, under System32. And yes, it's a top secret directory called sysprep. And that was hard, wasn't it? Uh, now, you can use sysprep from a command line interface only if you'd like. You can also use the new GUI where you just double click on sysprep. It comes through and says, okay, when I go through and clean this up, what do you want to do? Well, you can have it go through and go into audit mode. Audit mode is actually designed for, again, P uh, companies like Dell or HP where they can go through and see what the interface will be like for the end user the first time they fire it up without dedicating or committing any of this, those changes. Um, OB, which is out of the box experience, basically says, okay, you know, shut when you go through and do this, uh, bring it up so that they have that wizard. I'm going to go ahead and select to generalize it, which means to strip out all that information. Uh, this also does strip out the SID. Um, there's been some uh, information that was released by Microsoft just recently specifying that technically the SIDs don't matter that much anymore as far as. Um, you know, you can have two computers on the same net, on the same uh, network with the same SID. Uh, that there's other things in place that are actually making sure that they're different computers. Um, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and select to reboot. Actually, I'm going to do a complete shutdown, and I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. You'll see it go through and sysprep it. Let the hamsters run around the wheel. Now, if by chance you do select to reboot, or if by chance you fire up this machine again, um, it goes through and runs through it as, again as if you've turned on the machine for the first time. And technically, what I've seen in the real world is that once you sysprep a machine, you shouldn't continue to sysprep it over and over. Uh, you might be able to get away with it twice, but after that, uh, I've seen some problems personally. So sys prepping isn't the best thing to do. Um, typically, or technically where this all came from again was back in the day when uh, you go to order, well even still today, but um, this was part of the deployment tools that Microsoft had given to uh, companies like HP and Dell, where they could go through and create a master image, the technician could get into the GUI interface like this, load up drivers, load up applications, then they could sysprep the machine, shut it down, and then start imaging that hard drive out to other hard drives that would be placed inside of a uh, system that was similar to the one that was built up on. So there we go. So there's it sysprepping. There it's shutting down. And again, this does work on Server 2008 for Windows, I should say 8R2. Well, actually, it works since, geez, uh, XP, possibly even before then. So there you go. It's all shut down. This is a virtual machine. So I'm going to not start this one back up because i got some other plans. But that's how you sysprep a machine. I hope you enjoyed this uh, little snippet. Stay tuned for some other snippets that I'm going to be creating uh, more about deployment.